LTU went to Fordham University and asked students, what advice do you have for incoming freshmen? I don't know, know your resources and, and use them to your advantage because you're fucking paying for them, so. Don't let the fact that you're a freshman stop you from like doing anything here. I always forget like this stuff, like clubs I wanted to join, like things I wanted to do in my first year here that I didn't do because I'd be like, oh, like I'm gonna just wait till I'm a little older, wait to put that off. But I think like when you get here, just like jump right in because there's so much you can do here and not even just at Fordham, just like in the city itself. Like you can get like there's job opportunities, internships and stuff that you can like, if you're active enough, you can go get it. Really live your life, really make a lot of friends and make the most of your college experience. Of course, um, school is important, get those internships, get those grades, but really these people that you become friends with are friends for your life. So really just make connections and make the most out of your time because I'm a junior now and it goes by way too fast. I'm not ready to graduate senior year. The most important thing that freshmen should know that they get too much free time and that can go wasted like in an instant. You really don't have a set schedule for a college. You get classes all the time here and there. I just feel like that you should know what to prioritize and when to do homework, when to hang out and make sure you plan everything accordingly because when everything adds up in the end it gets really bad and stressful and then people just end up not doing good just because of that. Something that I should have done is just like be comfortable just like, like introducing yourself to anybody especially people that do not look like you. I feel like the white students here are just like they don't they don't feel comfortable like saying hi to people of color which is really unfortunate because you don't want to be in college and just like hang out with people that are exactly like you. You don't really grow so that's something that I would like anybody should just Introduce yourself to people, whether or not they look like you or have the same beliefs as you. Make sure to make use of your time in New York City. Definitely get to explore outside of the campus. Campus, like I said, is a beautiful place to be in, but definitely explore like Arthur Ave and just get to know like your surroundings in the Bronx and really like take it in because it's pretty, pretty amazing here. If you can, try not to live in Martyrs because <laughs> Martyrs sucks. Be active, like join clubs. I started out playing football here and then after I got injured and stopped playing, I just kind of did nothing and I, kinda, I regret that a lot. So I would say get involved with clubs, go tour the city, go to Botanical Gardens, the Bronx Zoo. I mean, it's right around the corner. I still haven't done that and I'm a senior, so. Definitely go visit the schools because there's so much more you get to learn just by visiting the school. And that's something I wish I had done because I definitely didn't do that. I know this is like really cliche, but I would honestly say like to trust your gut. Because a school will tell you it has like 50% white students and 50% non-white and you might seem like, oh, that's pretty diverse, but actually go and visit the school because when you actually go visit it, it might seem like 90% white people and that might be something you're not comfortable with. I have friends from like every different spectrum and all that sort, but it's really important because a lot of my other friends feel left out and you don't want that. And it's really important to find that group of friends who really are there for you. Be curious, do as much as you can, just be involved, ask questions, step out your comfort zone. Try everything, do everything. If it scares you, it should. That's a good thing. You should be scared because we're in a pretty sheltered world and scare yourself a little bit. My freshman year was horrendous to say the least, but as long as you find yourself and, and stay on the right course, you know, you'll make it to where you want to be. I started as a biology major, so I can tell you right now, it's nothing even close to political science. I realized that this subject was not right for me. I had to move on and, and change my, you know, my viewpoint. Don't slack off. Make sure you do something that you actually want, not what your parents want to do. So the better that you do that, it's going to work out for you. Just make sure whatever college you choose, you actually do like that college. There might be a college that you might like and someone else might not, but also make sure that you can't accomplish everything when it comes to these situations. You might have to choose education over the community at the university, or you might be someone who cares more about the community instead of the education because you believe in yourself and you believe in like all the internships that you will do and you're not really, you're not really that focused on the classroom. So that's totally fine. Meet new people and join clubs if you, you know, it's the best way to meet people. Don't be like silly about it. Just get out there, show your face places. Spend as much time as you can learning and meeting the new people on campus, everybody. Just invite yourself into the conversation and explore the whole thing that oh, yeah. Fordham's about. Cool. Learn everything you can and experience everything you can. Um, I would say realize that the size of Fordham's population 
and kind of the lack of certain initiatives kind of enables you to really take charge and you can make a lot more change here than you think you can. Especially there's like certain pockets on campus that are really dedicated to making a big change on campus and in the larger community. And if you can find those people, you can actually get a ton of shit done. Definitely like be aware of the problems you see around you and be aware of your capacity to actually fix them. Be open-minded. I think freshman year I forced myself to be open to a lot of things that I wouldn't be. And don't shoot things down just because they sound weird or sound like you wouldn't like them. If you're dorming, you have a lot of free time for college, so you have to choose that wisely. You're going to want to spend time with your friends. Sometimes you go to the gym. Sometimes you want to just be in bed watching Netflix, you know. Just budget your time wisely. Work. Work your ass off. Not everything's going to be like easy or handed to you. High school is different than college. So definitely focus and go for extra help if you need it. There's no shame in that. It's always good to develop relationships with teachers and, and uh, always get ahead in your studies. Speak to students there. Don't be afraid of like asking the students, oh, how do you like here? What do you think of it? Ask all sorts of different questions and, and ask them to all sorts, all different sorts of students and just figure out what you really like and what you don't. And just don't be afraid. Just take your chances. Make mistakes because this is the age to make mistakes. You don't want to make them when you're older. Even if you have to transfer colleges, three, four times, that's fine. You have to switch your major three, four times, that's fine. Just do it, because when you're older, you won't regret it. So just do everything now and don't regret later. Before you go, please like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments what advice you have for freshmen. Or you can let us know which piece of advice you found to be most valuable. After that, check out one of our other videos to keep the conversations going. Thanks for watching. We'll talk again soon.